The CMS experiment is one of the general purpose detectors at CERN that take data at one of the four collision points of the Large Hadron Collider. Fermilab is the host lab for US CMS, the collaboration of American institutes on CMS, which comprises about one third of the entire CMS collaboration. CMS saw our first beam splashes of 2025. Now the LHC doesn't run year round, it actually shuts down in the winter time. When it's time to ramp the LHC back up, we don't go straight from zero to 100. Instead, the accelerator works up to the final energy through low energy benchmarks that exercise the machine. The splashes we saw were part of that ramp up process. The beams were running at the injection energy of around 450 GeV. This is the minimum energy required to keep the beam in the ring. The protons are then crashed into a barrier just upstream of CMS, spraying the experiment with particles. That's what we call splashes. We aren't collecting physics quality data from these splashes, but they're important for CMS. The main thing we do is timing CMS and the LHC clock. Think of it like setting your watch after replacing the battery. This ensures that the data taken by each of the CMS subdetectors are timed to match each other and the beam. And since CMS is so large, we need to make sure everything is timed correctly across each subsystem. The splashes also help us check that the subdetectors are behaving as we expect them to. That way, we can be sure we're ready to collect data when the LHC reaches first stable beams of 2025.